Hi, this is Mike Scrampton of CDocs, and welcome to the tip of the day. In this tip, I'd like to talk about an app I use on my iPad Pro called Pixelmator. Now, Pixelmator is a relatively unknown app to many dentists. It's, uh, everybody's heard of Photoshop. Many of you have, have used Photoshop. Well, Pixelmator is a very inexpensive graphical design software that's specifically for Apple products. Now, you can buy this app for $4.99, so it's relatively inexpensive. And the power of this app, or what it can do, is really quite astonishing. So if I go ahead and open up a case in Pixelmator, just a, the, a general case, um, one of the things you can do is not only can you just kind of go through pictures, you can annotate them, you can discuss them, point out different things that you want to fix, but you also can manipulate the pictures. So for instance, if I wanted to explain to this patient uh, the need for crown lengthening, um, instead of just drawing a line, I can actually use something called warp. Now Photoshop has a tool just like this called Liquify, does the same thing, manipulates the pixels. So if I go ahead and take warp and go back to that picture, what you can see is I can use this tool to go ahead and raise the gum line on tooth number eight and nine. Okay, so it's, it's very easy to use. We can, it's very easy to explain to these patients, you know, what are we trying to do? So now you see that I'm just gently raising up the gingiva on tooth number nine, tooth number eight, and then the patient understands that if you want longer teeth, we need to go up and not uh, incisally or down. So that's one of the things that I use uh, Pixelmator for. Now, I explained to you in a different video on how Photoshop Fix is just as good for that, and I use Photoshop Fix a lot for that. Now, the one reason I lean a little bit towards Pixelmator is that warp tool or the liquify tool works great for things like this. Now, what if you want to do simulations? You know, you can't really warp decayed teeth all over the place. It doesn't really create a lot of value. So with Pixelmator, what I typically do is I, I create templates. Now, this is just a quick example of templates I already dragged in here. And uh, you'll have to go and watch some different videos to see how I make those templates. But instead of co computer animation of teeth, these are actually real teeth. Um, you know, so what I do is I take photographs of different teeth, I use Keynote, cut those teeth out of the pictures, and then using Pixelmator, I can just drag them in as layers and I can manipulate these different, um, these different uh, templates. And so I can do this very, very quick. Just that seven through 10 took me probably two minutes to do. So you can create as many different custom templates as you want, some for male, some for female, you know, dark teeth, light teeth, whatever you want, and it's use Pixelmator to put them in there. Not only that, once you have the templates in there, you can always use the warp tool to manipulate those templates to shape them however you want. So again, another cool feature of using iPad Pro. Now iPad Pro is something that I, I have with me all day long, and I highly encourage you, you check it out. For more tips, please visit us at CDOCS. Thank you.